the Vatican has a very, very great deal of power. Um, we've talked about it. Uh, they have, uh, whether they admit it or not, a great deal of political power all around the world. Uh, one of the things that they did fairly recently was they muscled, and I, I do intend to use that word, uh, they muscled their way onto a mountain in Arizona, Mount Graham, and they built an observatory on Mount Graham in connection with an Arizona university. Yeah. However, the Vatican has the larger part of the control of this observatory in yeah. looking at deep space things. That's right. Now, why would they have done that, Father? Because the mental, the attitude, mentality amongst uh, those who at the higher level, the highest levels of Vatican administration and Vatican geopolitics know that uh, now knowledge of what's going on in space and what's approaching us could be of great import in the next uh, five years, ten years. Carefully and well chosen words, Father. Thank you. Uh, West of the Rockies, you're on the air with uh, Father Malachi Martin. There's another planet in the solar system that they called Nibiru that was captured and moves like a comet in a 3,600-year orbit. Our own astronomers know it's out there. They call it Planet X. It has a gravitational effects on the outer planets. They can't find it because it's so far out. Ancient Sumerians and what they had to say about it are correct. And what they say is that there's another planet in our solar system that was captured by our solar system as the solar system was forming. Sumerian records indicate that they began their counting not from the sun, but from a planet on the outside of the solar system. But most surprising was the inclusion of one more large planet as the 12th member of our solar system. The launch of Pioneer 10 in 1972 ushers in the era of deep space exploration. The craft journeys beyond the outer known planets, sending back data that is used to seek a possible 10th planet. 14 August 1978, which was just about six weeks after we discovered the fact that Pluto has a satellite. Once you have a satellite for a planet, you can determine how heavy it is. It turns out Pluto is very much smaller and lighter weight than we had thought, which meant that Pluto has no influence, no appreciable influence on the motions of the planets Uranus and Neptune. At that point, we voice the hypothesis that this means that there is at least one yet to be discovered planet in the outer reaches of the solar system. Over the past two decades, physicists have joined astronomers in the search for the mysterious Planet X. Now, one of the things we, we did in 1978, having made this prediction that there was a, an additional planet, 10th or 12th, depending on your point of view, we sort of put our money where our mouth was, as it were, and we went out and we started looking for this thing. We've been able to refine the search area somewhat, and get it rather narrowed down. We, we do our predictions based on the observed anomalies in Uranus and Neptune. We actually are currently looking down in the region of Centaurus which is just south of the, of the constellation Libra. But if, if it is in the kind of orbit that we describe here, it would have to be a planet that would have a mass something like three to five times the mass of the Earth. This would put it uh, intermediate between the gaseous planets like Uranus and Neptune and the terrestrial planets that we, we have in the inner part of the solar system. So if, if this planet turns out to be in a 3,600-year orbit, then its, its mass will be correspondingly larger. This one here is a map of the solar system as we know it. Uh, the inner planets, this is the orbit of planet Pluto. And this here is the orbit that I have proposed for uh, the 10th planet. And here's where we think it is right about now in its orbit. If planet X exists, we are not alone. not looking for a planet when I found this alignment of comet orbits. I was more interested in the origin of comets and I just came across this alignment and couldn't explain it. And, uh, uh, and so I, I was eventually forced into the opinion that there is this planet out there in a, a most unusual position.
I can only assume it's a, it's a massive body because it's, it's perturbed all these comets, or, um, so it might be a recent arrival into the solar system. The idea of a new planet seems to fascinate um, absolutely everybody. Um, but I think more than half of the emails that I've had have been about a, this proposed um, planet. I forget if it's called Nibiru or... Okay, but let me 
crush you both here. And, and, and I want to do this because we are down to the last 15 minutes of the show, and I want to give everybody a fair crack of the whip here. One, uh, one comforting thought for us here in Nevada is that we've built Yucca Mountain to go and hide it. We're not going to use that 